Are you always looking for ways that can speed up your eBay listings? Well, today we're going to talk about the AI function on eBay descriptions, and we'll see if that can help speed things up. Hey, this is Shane. Welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel, and that is the topic of the, today. It's something I just realized because of the, my, when I was doing listings, eBay kept popping things up. Hey, have you noticed our AI? Do you want to try our AI? And what it's talking about is when you're doing uh, listing an item, you know, and you're going through the mechanics of listing the item, there's usually a point where there's a description block. You know, if you're doing it on your phone, there's, there's all the little tab areas that you put in information and there'll be something for description that you can edit and type things in. Or if you're like me, you're old school and you still list on the computer because I list faster on my computer than I do on my phone. Uh, you get down to a certain point and it's description and it's just this block you can put in you know, you can type what you want. You can have, you know, put in HTML stuff. You can format it. And that's what I do. I kind of have some template features that I'll, I'll have to show you um, in an upcoming video. But it, at the bottom of that, it has this little AI for description. And I'm going to show you what it does and how it does things. So I'm going to demonstrate that with two books. One is going to be this uh, Dorothy Rogers, My Favorite Thing. It's kind of like a design book from the 60s. And then the other one is going to be this Nibel's Method, a kind of a technical book, and give you two examples of how it may be useful. Okay, and you can access this from your phone. I'll pop some stuff up, but you know you can see the little where the little AI is, and you just hit that button. But my demonstration again is going to be on using the computer because that's how I list. So I'm gonna break away and I do the screenshots to show you how you use it, play around with you know some of the keywords and things that you do, and how it changes things, and then. Uh, we'll, we'll come back and, and with some final observations. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Okay, so as a first example of using this AI, I had this book that I had just bought on, it's a Dorothy Rogers uh, hardcover book on my favorite things, kind of mid-century uh, design and recipes. You can see it here. And just as a quick demo, what I'll show you is you know, I'll, just to, to get into a listing, so starting from scratch on this one, I'm going to do some other videos on how to to speed up all your listings. But if I do that, um, sell one like this, then, you know, this is a listing page. And and I could upload photos and start my listing. See, it pre-populates some, some things, which I don't like the way this is done it in all caps. I would change all that. But anyway, it for this example, it's pre-populated you know, several items. So let's sc scroll down here um, into where you would normally do descriptions, right? This is the, this is again, listing on, on your, just the computer, you know, your, your desktop machine. Um, this is where you would type in, you know, your title, your condition, whatever custom things you have. And you see they've placed here at the bottom of this, this thing that says use AI description. Here, let me zoom in on that so maybe you can see a little bit better if you're on your phone. Use AI description. If you just hit this button, it says it's writing. And then look, it pre-populates. I'm going to scroll back down. Sorry for the screen things. I'm sorry, I'm making you dizzy probably. Um, it pre-populated this. Now look. I'm going to, you know, in case it's hard to read, I'll explore the world of art and culture with My Favorite Things by Dorothy Rogers. This hardcover, so it tells us it's a hardback picture book, published, it's got the publisher and the year in 1964, perfect for adults who are looking for inspiration. The book features author's favorite things, I guess taking off of the title, making it an interesting book read for anyone looking to learn more about her taste and preferences, uh, discover a wide range of topics covered in this nonfiction book, including books, music, and more. It's in English, no inscription or personalization. It has to pull that off of, you know, in the case that I said it was brand new, we'll play some games here. It's a great addition to any collection for those looking to appreciate art and culture. Get your hands on this wonderful book today. So, that's a pretty good description for this, right? So let's do let's let's undo the AI. Okay, it takes it back. Let's change condition to just good, and let's just say good condition. Uh, some corner wear. Let's do that. Um, I was wonder. I wonder if I want to change anything else here. 
under topics, let's just put um, art. Uh, maybe we'll just let's just put doesn't really matter, right? It's more uh, decorative art. There we go. That's a good one. Um, all right, now let's 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 hit the AI description again and see what it does. Using AI description again. Okay, so you know it changed it up a little bit. It's um, I didn't copy and paste the other, but it's a charming picture book written by Dorothy Rogers. It still gets the date and and the publisher, uh, decorative art, English language, and captivating content. Uh, you'll be transported to different countries and regions without leaving your home. Now, see, now it just says add all my favorite things to your collection. But the thing about it being, um, you know, about the condition notes were off, you know, from it being brand new. So here's, and, and let's just undo it and um, let's, okay, it says use AI description. Okay, so I want to do a couple, couple, couple of things for you. Now, what I would do on this is I have other information that I put. So I've got a, another listing here that's kind of got a template uh, that I normally use. And I'll go into templates in another video. But what I would do is I have a, a template. I would copy my template. I would come in here and put my template information. Here's what the AI wrote. I would take the AI information. And then I would come up under the item and put the AI information right there. And that is how I would use this. And if I needed to, you know, make the font and stuff, you might be, there might be a setting on that, you know, make it times new Roman. It matches my font. So this is in my template. What I like to put is I like to have in the description, the author here, then the title item hardback cover, hardcover book is actually shown. I think this is important. You know, people know it from my photos, right? That I'm not using stock stuff. But then the other type of stuff that you might write about the book, you know, I might would put this, you know, even though sometimes it, it feels a little salesman-y. It, it doesn't sense that I have to use all of this, right? I, you know, if, if there is something that's got, you know, inscription or whatever, I might, I might want to delete some of this off or I might not like all of it, you know, like this, get your hands on this wonderful book today. I, okay. I'm not trying to, I would probably just take that off. And, you know, so that's how the AI and I've, what I've played around with it on a couple of things, it, it doesn't necessarily, you know, always give you something that's just awesome, but it is an interesting feature that I've just noticed this use AI description. All right. All right, we'll do a quick second example using kind of a textbook, something I just bought recently, this book on Nibel's method for work and design. We'll hit, I've got it kind of keyed up here so you don't have to suffer through me finding it. Goes to the eBay listing. We've got a, we got a pre-populated uh, item. Let's, you know, let's go in and say under subject area, let's put it's mechanical engineering. Um, let's uh, here, let's, let's, let's put that it's, um, it's Nibel's method. We'll fill out a few more things. This one looks kind of sparse. Um, we'll say that it's an advanced book. Um, publisher was McGraw Hill. Okay. Under condition, we're going to still say that we'll say this one's very good. Um, lightware, no observed writing. Now you have refined, refine this, but we're just giving it some stuff for the AI to demonstrate the AI. Okay. Let's hit use AI description. I'll zoom in here a little bit. It says it's writing. Okay. Now this one did a pretty good job. There's the hardcover book titled, you know, gives the title, uh, valuable resource, mechanical engineering, the subjects of design and Nibel's method. It's written. So it's kind of, you see how it's pulling up the things that you click in the item specifics is what it's really pulling from, right? Uh, it's available for my textbook. It, this time it pulled the category that it's in. Um, that's interesting. Textbooks, books and magazine, uh, comprehensive information about work design and standards. So, you know, here's, the, here's the thing. It is, 
um, this is a, a reasonable description. So again, I would probably, I would go to my, you know, I've got my, uh, my template information here that I normally would use. You know, I would, oh, sorry, let me zoom back out here where I can see, see what I'm doing here with my cut and paste. So, you know, this is kind of like some of my generic template information. I would probably come in here to this. I would put my template information in. I'm just doing cut and paste here if you're wondering what I'm doing. So there's my template information I normally use. I might pull, let's cut it. I might would come in here and right there. Again, I'm just doing control X to, to, to cut, control V to paste, doing it fast. Uh, you know, I'm making sure that my, I like my, all my fonts are the same. And so I might just would drop this in here, right? I'm still saying what I want hard hardcover book, but I don't know that it, you know, gives extra, but it's, you know, it's, it definitely helps fill it out. And if you don't have template information, you could use this in one button to generate things, but I think you always want to check it. So let's go back and we'll close out. All right, that's how the AI feature is using to do this generative um, writing. And you can see that it uses a lot of things from the item description, the publisher, things that, are, that pull in from item specifics. Um, I showed you too how I use it, how I, I kind of use it to enhance some of my templates to generate things. And, um, you know, so for me, it's just, it's additive, right? It put, maybe puts a little more meat. If you're somebody that just typically just goes, you're selling a book and you go hardback book, and that's all you do, this could really help you flesh that out. Now, does that translate to increased sales? I don't know, I don't have any data on that yet, but it is a feature that's there. If you hadn't seen it, or if you're thinking that's a section that you hate writing stuff, or you, you know, it takes you time, if, it, if it, the biggest thing is on your listing, if it makes things go quicker for you, then use it, it's a push button. Uh, if you don't like it, you can say discard it, don't use it, but always, always check what it writes. You don't, you know, they talk about in this AI and they, it's fascinating stuff you read about, you know, but your, your AIs can hallucinate. I don't, I don't think you have to worry about, you know, which means that it basically can, can get bad data, bad training data, um, you know, conflicting sources. Sometimes if it's like, um, you know, slang and things, it can, it, it can report erroneous things that the algorithm, the AI thinks is correct. And it, it presents them like they're correct, like everything else it does, but it's not. It's kind of what we call when the AI hallucinates, right? So it, uh, if always check, proofread what it does, what it says and make sure it's something you like, but it is a tool that you can use. So, and actually I will say on this concept of AI is if, you know, if Skynet turns out, or for that matter, the matrix turns out to really be real. I'm just going to be, I'm going to be so disappointed. It's just, I just, I just can't even think about that future. So anyway, uh, first world problems, right? Uh, see cool, buy cool, check out the AI for descriptions. See if it makes your, your, your time to list go down. And by the way, um, Two things, I've got some uh, videos that I'm prepping on how I use templates and, and other sold items and things to speed up my listing. So I have plans to release those in the coming weeks. Um, and then if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We're almost at 6,000, it's awesome. So thanks for the channel support and we'll talk to you soon, bye.